2036, we've got the 10 box blaster break. But of course, best of luck to everybody involved. Everybody. Uh, Alan, probably not. Dazzlers for the Blue Jackets of Blankenberg. There probably will be some three or four box ones, but probably not a case. Instant Impressions of Spurgeon for Minnesota. Young Guns for Vegas, Ben Jones. We've got a welcome to Carolina. All right, here's a fun question for Leaf fans. Rookie portraits for the Blue Jackets of Mayor. If the Leafs lose tonight, is Sheldon Keefe potentially gone? And if not tonight, how many more games does he have left? Because the next three games are against really good teams. So I literally could see them losing all three of them. You think Shannon needs to go before? You think they're going to fire Shanahan before the coach, though? I'd be very surprised if Shanahan firing changes anything on ice. We got a board check for the Blue Jackets. Dazzlers. We got a rookie retrospective for the Ducks of Drysdale. Young Guns for the Red Wings of Pearson. See, I don't disagree if they obviously miss the playoffs, get rid of Shanahan in the offseason. I think changing Shanahan does nothing for our on-ice uh, performance right now. And I'm not even saying it's Keith to blame, but I do agree he should be probably gone. Patty Kane, Portraits for the Hawks. Young Guns for the Minnesota Wild, Boldy. A good one to get graded, by the way, so I do recommend that. Whoever is Minnesota, congrats. And base. You think the Leafs are going to win the next uh, against the Tough Three? Wow. Like, I will give credit where credit's due. They did play well against Edmonton. Obviously, they had a few collapses. But that was, honestly, for me, I, I still think Edmonton deserved to win that game for sure. But probably one of the most exciting games I've watched in God knows how long. Marky rookies of Lazinski. For Philly. See, I agree. I would realistically get rid of Keefe first and then Shanahan in the offseason. Dazzlers of McAvoy for Boston. Unless you're my boy. We got a Young Guns for Vancouver of Lockwood. Vancouver. Marky Rookie Retro of Mercer for the Devils. Dawson Mercer. And Love Base. All right. Boldy is winning so far. Actually, I was going to say the GM, his, uh, his numbers are pretty garbage, aren't they? Like, obviously, it goes across... Oh, there you go. There you go. It goes across the board for all the Maple Leafs in general. But one uh, one postseason win in, what, 10 years as a GM? Young Guns for Philly of Allison.
Can base off Suzuki for Montreal. Yeah, Golden, but here's the thing. At what point do you kind of go, while well, you're wasting your talent? And again, the same could be said for Edmonton, right? The Edmonton Oilers lose in the first or second round this year. At what point do you do something drastically different? Because you only have McDavid in his prime for so long, right? Like, when do you kind of make sure you actually get over that hump at that point? Hundo P of Wheeler for the Jets and a Dazzlers of Byfield for LA. Like, that's the way I look at it. Like, it's like, for example, Golden, your team. You have a lot of great young studs. Imagine if Caulfield literally over the next six years, you know, misses or loses in the playoffs every round. Like, at what point do you be like, okay, well... Something drastic has to go because we can't just burn our best years of Caulfield type thing. Canvas for Florida of Huberto. I would say keep him. I think Caulfield's got a lot of upside. Foodie portraits for the Blue Jackets. Oh, fans definitely, I think, forget how garbage we were. That was, uh, yeah, that was hard to watch. Young Guns for the Oilers of Broberg. Young Guns. And a Dazzlers of Kachuk for Calgary. Golden, the one thing I've learned is when teams start doing well, you almost get too used to it, right? If you asked us 10 years ago to have this kind of team contending in the playoffs... You know, top goal scorer, all that kind of stuff. You would just salivate for that. But, just like everything else in life, when you're used to it, it starts becoming numb to people. Right? That It's like, wow, this is what we should be getting. It, it's... I, I remember seeing this specifically with the Raptors. You know, ticket sales for first round. Did I have uh, tickets for first round? Young Guns of Regula for the Hawks. They would always sell crazy good. Because people were just excited to go playoffs. Marky Rookie for Philly of Ustamenko. Award winners for Tampa of Hedman. Then the second they started winning, the first round was almost like I could barely sell them. Because people expected them to win. So they didn't really want to go to first round. Portrait of Kevaranta for Dallas. Uh, he's brought consistency, I agree. But at what point do you get over that hump that consistency's not good enough? Yellison for Calgary. We've got a Dazzlers of Konechny for Philly. And base. Like, I, I will be one of the first to admit I was a little surprised they kept Keefe for this year, I thought. New GM, fresh new look, right? I figured, get a new coach. I, I'm going to say he's got till the end of this road trip if they lose all three or probably two of the three. I think they, get, they, they do a coaching change. Varlama for the Islanders, OPG. Young Gun of Asplund for Buffalo. You know what, Jamie? Dubas is a very polarizing topic. There's a lot of great things Dubas did, but he also buried the Leafs for the future for foreseeable. A lot of people forget about that, that he literally did mortgage our future for not much. Portraits, rookies of Lafferty.
Marky Rookie Blue of Suzuki for Montreal. Like, I, I feel like Dubis is one of the, uh, you're going to win a lot, but you're also going to have really bad losses a lot. He's not a middle ground type of GM. Young Guns of Varanu for Ottawa. I think the players like the more golden. I agree with that. But I also do believe the Maple Leafs need a culture shock. I, I do think there are a lot of... Uh, I don't know if it would be the right word to say, but kind of like prima donna mentalities, right? And not to necessarily quote Marner, but like, you know, we are awesome. Yay yeah, us. Yes. Like, you know, I don't agree with that mentality. Like, you shouldn't be patting yourself on the back when... Exactly what, uh, who said it there? Jamie, we're, like, they literally are one of the worst teams in regulation. You should not be saying that you guys are good. Every stat proves otherwise. <laughs> Young Guns for the Rangers, Adam Fox. Like, here's the thing. Winning is winning. doesn't matter when you do it. The difference is, if you can't win in regulation or hold leads, that's, that's definitely not a good point. Portraits of OV for the Caps. But that's my point, though, Golden. If he can't tell his, his star players off, you're creating a bad culture there. You're creating a very coddling culture. And I don't think that's good for players, personally. Canvas for Tampa of Stamkos. Can uh, Young Guns of Stenland for the Blue Jackets. Like, here's a fun stat. And maybe it is purely luck of the draw. Or maybe this is kind of how the Leafs mentality is. Game Jersey Vertanen for Vancouver. Has Nylander had a three-game pointless streak at any point of the season other than this one, coincidentally right after he signed his contract? I would be curious if Nylander has gone three games of no points before. And again, may, uh, if he has, maybe only once type thing. But I just feel like that's the uh, how the Maple Leafs in general think, right? Of, you know, we get our money, we're happy, and now we move on. Shining stars for the Blue Jackets, Warinsky. I would love to know if he's had a three-game pointless streak yet this year. Other than the current three-game pointless streak. Young Guns for Vegas, Alex Tuck. Bruce would be awesome, yeah. I don't disagree with that. I would, uh, I would happily. There's a couple of really good coaches out there. Like, really good coaches. Rube would be great. I do hope someone looks up that Nylander stat. I'm, I'm curious. Portrait of Taves for the Hawks. Young Guns for Carolina. Yane Kokanen. So much base. Canvas of Taylor Hall for the Devils. Taylor Hall. All right, 16, 17. He had a three game stinker in November, so only one. That's fair then. Okay. Portraits of Dowdy, so the big one.
It's been four games for Nylander now? No, has it? I thought it was three. Canvas of Bobby Ryan for Ottawa. Wow. I thought it was only three. Well, there you go. So his longest points pointless streak comes right after the contract. Portrait of McDavid for the Oilers. Young Guns for Anaheim, Sorensen. When did he actually sign his contract? Was it uh, the game before that or? It's been four games. So out of 41 games, the longest pointless streak is right after he signs. Shining stars of Goss to spare for Philly. Milano for the Blue Jackets, the Young Guns. And base. There we go. 